I'm poor, you're poor, we all scream because we're poor. Ah! Nobody can afford anything anymore with inflation. But if you've got $2, me and my friend Mem have found some video games for you. Let's take a look at what your money can buy today. Uh, 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 I hate this. Wow, I can't believe I picked this horrible monster game. So this is the game that I picked when we searched on Steam for games that were $2 or less. The name of this game is A Toad Well Traveled, but if you open up the actual name of the, the application itself, it's actually called A Game for My Grandsons, which is just adorable. This game is 50% uh, platforming masochism, 50% elementary school report about a frog. The game opens by showing you a book that you have to read about toads and toads lives and it tells you that this toad is unsatisfied with its life and it wants to move on to greener pastures but unfortunately there's a lot of trials and tribulations not the least of which is a snake in the grass. All right so this game here I am I am a toad. Oh my god there is a snake in the grass. Wait what do I do? The snake is coming. What do I do? What do I do? Holy. Okay. Oh my god, they explode in little clouds of blood. I think it told me I had to eat all the mosquitoes. I, ha I have to get... <laughs> I have to get... <laughs> this is scary. Pretty quickly, it becomes apparent that this is a very annoying game. You know how you can tell this is made by somebody's grandpa? is because you know what old people love? You know people born in fucking 1920 love? When they were a kid, this is how games were. It was like a ball on a, on a piece of string that you had to throw it 70 feet in the air and catch it in a, t in a cup that was half a m millimeter big enough to fit the ball. And so you would stand around all day and you would just try and put the throw the thing on top of the thing and it was like fun. And then eventually one time when you were 13 you finally got it and that's when the game was over. It was a game that lasted 10 years and it was doing the same goddamn thing over again. That's how you can tell an old person made this game because that's what games are for them. Games are something that should re that require a decade of practice to be good at. Which is unfortunate because I was sort of hoping it was just like a tough platformer with cool photorealistic frogs in it, but it's not. I mean, it is, but calling it a tough platformer is would be a little bit like calling getting jumped a, a tough boxing match. Doesn't really get to the core of what's happening. Now I'm down for a challenge. I like a challenge. I like butting my head up against the same thing over and over again. Unfortunately, Mem does not. So I'd like to note that at this point, immediately in the first level, she turned the difficulty down to the tadpole difficulty, and I didn't. And that information is gonna be important for you going forward. Oh my God, the blood in the water? This is Jaws. I love that it doesn't restart automatically. I have to push restart. No, there's something to be said here about how like after you die, the world will move on, you know? Oh my god, I have to tap, I have to tap fast, but I swim so slow. Aren't toads supposed to be good at swimming? <gasps> Here we go. Swim frog, swim. Swim frog. Go, go, Johnny, go. Don't look back. Get up there. Okay, good. Did he just shoot me? How is he shooting me? How did he kill me? The toad, realizing that he will never reach the drain pipe, decided to just give up and die. What a silly thing to do. Yeah, you're telling me. There's no way the grandkids are beating this. Somebody's grandpa accidentally made the next Dark Souls. This is the Dark Souls of frogs, dude. <laughs> this is the oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've never had so much stamina in my life. Please. <laughs> Maybe we should be warming the globe. You know, maybe maybe nature isn't worth saving. You know? I mean, oh, get back up, get back up, I'm almost to the end, no! Oh my god, I just restarted the game. Oh, Christ. I was hitting the keyboard, and then I hit the escape. Oh, God. The game is very clunky. It doesn't have a lot of a quality of life improvements. So it has this little feature where if you hit the escape key, the whole, without asking, the whole game just reboots and sends you back to the start, uh, which is what I just did, which is amazing and awesome. So while I went all the way back to the beginning, Mem, with her tadpole difficulty and her coordinated arms, moved on without me. Terrifying sounds going on right now. <gasps> this is so scary. Ah! No, dude, this is gruesome AF. Grandpa, your controls are crazy, dude. I can't jump on an incline. Is that is that a well-known fact also? That toads can't jump on inclines? This 
This game is gonna kill me. This game is gonna kill me. <sighs> oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. We're rushing. We're rushing through it. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm par parkouring. What? That's not even fair. And again, the blood? The blood for your grandchildren? Grandpa, the blood is a little outrageous. Now, was it 80 or 90 that I needed to get in the tube? I guess we'll find out. Must be 90, because it's not 80, goddammit. Oh my god, chased. No! How? 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 So he comes out as soon as I start going? What's the plan? I forgot about the rocks again. And the inconsistency of the rules with the damn fish is just killing me. And then this slit, you slip and fall in the water and then it's instant death. I mean, he is like a hawk. It's like a, it's like a sniper on meth out your window with him. Just one false move, bang. You're done. I'm so outrageously curious to see Austin play this. There were zero reviews. I don't think anyone has downloaded this game except this kid's grandkids. If they love their grandfather, maybe they did that. Oh my God, rat, chill. Like, can I jump? Can I go faster by jumping? Oh my God, can I? Oh, I can go faster by jumping, guys. Okay, okay, okay. No way, I made it another level. This is the thing is like, it's so hard, but it's giving me such an adrenaline boost every time I finish a level, I feel like God. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, how come I'm not, how come, how come I can't get up? How come I can't get up? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Wait, I, I ate all the bugs. Oh, I ate all the bugs. There's no bugs left. How do I get out? I was at 90, how do I get out? How do I get out? Oh, this is driving me up the wall. This, it, it's, this game is in the running for my least favorite game I've ever played. That's not hyperbole. I was furious while playing this game. I played it for close to five hours. Didn't make any progress. Everything about it is annoying. I can't stand this game, truly. I'm so sorry if you made it, but I was so mad while playing it. God, it's so goddamn annoying how this game is. Everything about it is so goddamn annoying. I'm, I'm exaggerating, I'm just saying that, okay? If you're the grandpa who made it, it's fine. But I'm so goddamn mad at your game right now. It's uh, off the charts. I have no respect for the elderly anymore. You're probably not even elderly, you're probably like 55. But I've got no respect for any grandpas. Even grandmas are on, on thin ice with me at this point after this, okay? I'm just imagining grandpa running around his yard with a ridiculously high quality camera, getting all these pictures of, of grass and concrete and stuff, and like photoshopping the shit out of it, like absolute Photoshop wizard. We're probably looking at grandpa's backyard right now. Like without a doubt, this is grandpa's backyard. Whoa, I'm stung to shreds. Oh my god, you know when you get a bunch of wasp stings and you just turn into a skeleton right then and there? Oh my god, I got both of them. Oh my god, did I do it? I can't even believe it. Easiest level by far. Level four? Level four is reasonable. <laughs> One, two, ready, jump! Suck my dick. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so mad. <laughs> Uh. I don't fully understand what's going on here. It says we've been swallowed by a beast and now in front of us is a nightmare world of pain and death. In front of him, he sees a nightmare world of pain and death. That's a quote. Oh my God, we're inside a, we're inside a harvester? Any farmers know what this is? Is this an international harvester? Oh my God, it is a nightmare world of pain and death. Are you kidding? Is that actually what the inside of this machine looks like? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Very scary. Yeah, see, if I were a toad, I simply wouldn't survive this. Surely I'm not supposed to break the machine. Is that a... No. Are these like buttons to push? There's no way. There's no way. Please don't tell me that's a button I have to push with my freaking tongue. No! No! It's a screw I unscrewed to make the fan stop. You're joking, dude. All right, I guess I'll try and eat this last guy. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so there it goes. It just worked that time. Oh my God, Christ. 
I played this game for about five and a half hours and at this point I'm done with it. That's enough for me. We've seen a lot of the levels. There's a lot of variety in it. We There was even a level at night that we didn't show because I just didn't have space for the footage. I really wanted to come in here and talk about the positives. I was really excited for it to be a rough game that I could still enjoy. I like the ambiance and the sky. I like the concept, but I hate the game. I'm sorry, and I don't say that lightly. So my $2 game was kind of a bust, not a fun game. Let's see if Mem picked a better one. Hello, it's me again, not Austin. Anyway, I'm here to tell you about this game that I paid 99 cents for called Chinese Simple Life. To be quite honest, I chose this game after looking at about two screenshots because that's how I prefer to approach life. I like to know very little about media before I consume it. Anyway, so I saw the screenshots on Steam and thought, wow, this looks like shit. And then I saw that in one of the screenshots, you actually have two different mini-maps going at the same time. And I just bought it instantly. I actually never read the description until this very moment, but it's really something. Okay, so it says it's a living environment simulation. Features include person control, traffic system, people passerby, driver car, ride moto, two maps. I did not experience two maps. I'm fascinated by that bullet point. Kill people. As soon as I started this game up, the icon, the mouse icon spun for about a minute and all the fans in this computer whirled up. So there's a good chance that somebody's getting rich on Bitcoin right about now. Look at this just huge blocks of concrete in front of us. <laughs> no, whoa, what? This is the controls page. What? M control shift CF space BN0123. If I say that five times, it tells all the spies in the Soviet Union to eat their cyanide pills. Yeah, so right away, when you open the controls menu, it's literally just like this guy Googled video game controls and put up a bunch of Google images. Like there's just an image of like keys on a keyboard and an Xbox controller with random things circled. I don't know if they intended to be funny by doing this, but this is hilarious. Like I genuinely love the idea of just having fake menus in your game. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a 100% accurate depiction of what living in China is like. So I'm hyped about that because I've never been. Oh my God, the rave. Wait, this is bomb. What's up, girl? <laughs> the music is killing me. Look at her, she's vibing. She's vibing and we approve. China, 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 simple life. Chinese, 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 simple life. I mean, this is a simple life. Look at the, the flaming skull. The flaming skull on my speedometer. No, this is actually awesome. This is actually the greatest game ever made. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm having the time of my freaking life. The gameplay is obviously very weird slash non-existent, and yet I'm instantly in love with it. I think it's because it's taking me back to like being a kid playing a game that's set in the city like this, and all you really want to do is just run around and do random shit, because that's more fun than the actual game. So the fact that there is no actual game here, actually doesn't even matter. Because the fun part in this kind of game is everything that isn't the game. So maybe they're a genius. Okay, I guess he gave me my mission. And my mission is to go to this next mission. Oh my God. The mission he gave me is to check inside a dumpster. I don't like where this is going one bit. This is how you get wrapped up in, in a whole lot of legal trouble. There doesn't appear to be anything in the dumpster. And now we have another new objective. So there's no explanation of what these goals are that you're going to or why, or like what the currency means up at the top right. But again, like something is so funny and fun to me about that because it's like it's a parody of a video game. It's like just enough little elements of video games that you've seen before to like make your brain recognize that it is a video game. Like that's what this is, but it's still like not quite. Somehow I got five uh, white dollars. Underneath my 10,000 red dollars, I have five white dollars. Wait, does it say I have five dollars? What's the red number? Is that debt? Have I earned five dollars to pay off a $10,000 debt? Oh my god, this is a sham. Turns out the Chinese simple life isn't so simple. Oh damn it, I put the motorcycle too close to the wall. 
I can't get on it. Ah, oh, shit. Not this being bugged, because they want me to drive the van, but I can't because it's stuck on the mailbox. I have to knock it off. Unexpected um, extra objective here that I don't think they meant to program in, but I will have to bust the van off of this mailbox. Oh my God, beautiful, gorgeous. I'm so good at video games. Yeah, so I love this unintentional game mechanic. This is the most thinking that you ever have to do in this game is sometimes your vehicle gets stuck and you have to bash it with another vehicle to get it unstuck. Like, I just love that the most strategizing you ever have to do is because of something that 100% was just an oversight on the developer's part. No, please, please. I actually want to know what happens. I actually have to get I actually have to get the van unstuck because I really want to know what happens. No, this is the worst day of my life. Not me piling up more and more cars to try to get the van. I have to, I have to get this van dislodged, guys. I got my motorcycle stuck while trying to attain freedom. And I need my motorcycle to do my job. How am I going to fix this? Maybe if I take someone else's motorcycle, I can ram it into my own motorcycle. Wow, this lady's wearing underpants on a motorcycle. She's also old. Get off of there, old lady. Put some clothes on, this is China. But see, the motorcycle is like more agile, right? The motorcycle can like get over. <laughs> no, this is not happening to me that I'm getting every single vehicle stuck like this. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. I'm taking the police car and I'm running away to the country. I'm running away to the country because I can't believe this. See, this is what's so fun about a game that has almost no effort put into it, is you just know you're gonna be able to do shit you're not supposed to do. Like, for some reason, this seems like a free game that someone would download on the school computers, and then everyone would be obsessed with trying to do crazy trick shots with the cars and stuff. Um, so basically, that's what I started doing. I think there is a world in which I launch myself off of that and get across the wall on the other side. I think there's a world in which that happens. Or not, or not, no. Whoa! Whoa, I jumped two walls! Is there just a section of fence missing? They got this whole city fenced off. There's just a piece missing? I'm gonna escape to the mountains. Outside the big city. I'm gonna be done with the simple life. I'm gonna be done sniffing trash cans. Okay, listen, we're gonna take a shortcut. We're gonna take a shortcut. Scenic route. It's so bad. Why do the motorcycles turn so slow? So this is the this is what the game is really about, isn't it? You can live the Chinese simple life, follow your markers, and maybe you'll get to the end. Maybe you'll see the credits. Maybe you'll get to retire. Maybe you'll get to to withdraw your 401k or you can look for the holes in the fence you can turn around and you can walk where you have no idea where you'll end up that's really what the chinese simple life is about no please 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 oh my god the mo okay listen no, not the dab. I don't really have much else to say. As you can see, I was having the time of my life playing this. I think I just love garbage. I think what I've realized is I love garbage. I love playing garbage more than actual video games. Like I could have played GTA and had actual plot lines to follow, or I could play this and just run around and stare at dumpsters all over the city and try very hard to jump my car over a wall that is actually just a texture of a fence with black in the background. Like this one is just infinitely more fun. I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say, Chinese Simple Life versus GTA. There's no competition. GTA is canceled. GTA sucks. Okay, that's it. And that's it for our show. Thank you so much to Mem for uh, participating in this again. Obviously she has a YouTube channel. A lot of you already know about it, but go over there if you wanna see more of her. Thank you so much for watching this video. One of the best things you can do to help me out is to immediately watch another one of my videos. So might I suggest one of our other $2 games videos if you enjoyed this. But if you're just here to watch the videos and not engage in any way, that's totally fine too. I've got one more thing to tell you specifically. I make a lot of music in my free time. It's one of my favorite hobbies. I use that music in all of my videos. So please today, Enjoy the song, and I will see you next time. I'm starting to get bored. My body is tired. Why don't you just leave me alone? Performative flat foot. You try to believe that you live in my head, but you don't. Shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing. Nah. Shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing. 
Shut the fuck up, you don't know nothing. Shut the fuck up, you don't know nothing. Ding, ding. This is kind of like, um, there was a weird few months on YouTube where some of the big YouTubers were like just letting random people make videos on their channels. Like, does anyone remember when for a while Shane Dawson had some random emo boy making videos like once a week and everyone hated it and thought it was weird because it was weird? I guess that's me in this scenario. And I guess that makes Austin Shane Dawson, unfortunately. 